This video is going to go through the use of NCAPTCHA for Google Chrome and how you can use it to bring in data from the internet and uh, bring it into your Envivo project. This is really useful for bringing in uh, web pages that you want to analyze or bringing in data sets of social media data from Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and LinkedIn. If I start off by opening up Google Chrome, I first of all may need to install the NCAPTCHA plugin. It could have been installed as part of your Envivo install, but it won't be enabled. So the easiest way to either enable it or to install it is to search for NCAPTCHA for Chrome. You'll see here that that's going to take me to the Google Chrome web store. And here will I have the option to either enable it or install it. If it's not installed, you'll see there's a button up here that you can use to install it. In my case, it is installed, but isn't enabled. So here I need to go to the orange bar that's appeared at top and click enable this item. You can tell that NCAPTCHA has been enabled when this icon shows up here. This is where we access the NCAPTCHA plugin. As part of my research, I, need, I may need to bring in some data from the web. This is really useful for anyone who might be researching a business and wants to bring in pages from their corporate website. For someone working on researching a school and wanting to bring in information from their web page or anyone who's working with social media data. To start off with, I'm going to bring in an article from a news website. So I'm going to just search for a, uh, a news website up here. And the way in capture works is that first of all, we need to browse to the uh, page that we want to bring in. So in this case, I've got a page on uh, the energy review and I'm going to bring this article into my Envivo project. So with my web page open here, I click on the end capture button at the top. Uh, the first time I need to use this, I'll have to read the conditions and accept them. And you'll see the two options that we've got. I can capture either the web page or the article. If I capture the web page as a PDF, it's going to bring in the whole PDF file version of this web page. That's going to include any ads on it, any links to other articles, the navigation across the top. NCAPTCHA will try to create as faithful a replication to the website as it can. If I choose article as a PDF, you'll see here it's going to pull out only the text of the article and remove all of the general website around it. In this case, I'm just going to bring in the web page as a PDF and then click capture. Down here, you'll see I get notifications on the progress of that capture. And you can see here it's been brought in. Now, this is a two step process. Step one, of course, is capturing the web page, but step two requires me to bring it into Envivo. This is not automated because it would be impossible to target which Envivo project you want to bring it into if it were. So to do this, I'm going to have to go and open up the Envivo project I want to bring this web page into. So switching back to Envivo and heading to my internals, I can choose where I want to bring this file in. So if I right click in my list view and go to import, I'm going to need to select the end capture option. This is going to open up a new window. And the first thing that you need to do is to browse to the location that capture was saved. For Google Chrome, this is automatically saved in your downloads folder. This is your default downloads folder. So if I go down here and browse to where my browser saves them, which is the downloads folder here, you'll see these are all of the captures that I've got. Now there's a list of some from my previous searching, but you'll see right at the top here, this is the last one that I brought in from BBC News. And if I click on import, it will load and it will bring that PDF in to the uh, Envivo project for me. If I double click to open it up, you'll see I've got my article on my website here. 
You'll notice it's not always a perfect copy. There's a few issues here, but you'll see it's perfectly legible and it's a fairly good representation of this website. If I right click on it and go to classification, you'll see this has automatically been done for me. If I go to the PDF properties and go to attribute values, you can see it's brought in as much data as it can, including the URL and the title. I could then manually add the other information should I need it. So this process can be used with any web page that you're using as part of your research. Um, and with NCAPTURE, it's really useful for bringing in um, a copy of a website that you're using as part of your research. So you always know you have access to it. If the website goes offline or is updated, you still have that version of it. Um, if you are researching something that's actively updated, then taking fre frequent uh, NCAPTUREs can ensure you get a record of how that's looked through time. As said earlier, NCAPTURE does support uh, several social media websites to bring in the data as a data set instead of a PDF file. So as uh, indicated, that's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. And with each of these websites, it's really important that you navigate to the, the thing you want to bring in. So if I was on Twitter and I wanted to bring in an individual's um, tweets, I would go to their profile page. So I've got a list of them. If I was looking for a hashtag, I'd search for that hashtag and then pull the results in through NCAPTURE from the, the search results of that hashtag. Uh, the example I'm going to give here is a YouTube video. So I brought the YouTube video up. It's on my screen. This is the thing that's available here. Um, and as soon as that's open up, I can click on the end capture button and you'll see it's going to give me some different options to what it did with the other website. So I can bring in the video only, the video and comments, or once again, the web page as a PDF. So this time I'm going to go for video and comments and click capture. As before, we get the uh, progress opening up at the bottom here and this might take a little longer than it did for the the web page uh, because it's bringing in all of those comments as a data set all I need to do at any point is click back on the end capture item and click on the show capture progress page and it will show me uh, how things are doing you'll see earlier today I tried to capture some tweets and there were zero tweets captured um, unlike my YouTube capture that's been successful. It's just important that if this doesn't work, you try in another day or so. It could be that the website you're using has become um, over busy and has limited the connections from things like NCAPTURE, um, or it could be that things have changed and you just need to update the NCAPTURE program. Um, in this case, I can see my YouTube one has been successful. So now that I've done that, I can go back into Envivo and just as we did before, right click, import import from NCAPTURE it brings up the NCAPTURE window for me um, and this time I'm just gonna you know once again untick the ones I don't want to bring in and just bring in that YouTube one the one that I uh, I brought in uh, just now from the the website and you'll see you end up with two results for, for YouTube one is the video so this is still hosted online in YouTube the video will appear here in this area and I can play it using the tools at the, the top just as before um, and if I close this you'll see it also brings in the YouTube comments so this is going to give me a data set there's an ID a comment ID um, the text from the comments and also any replies um, those comments may have received and it's just a really useful way for you to be able to capture um, all of this data if you look down the side of your detailed view you'll see there's some tabs so form view just gives you a feel of the kind of entry values you can navigate them by using these arrows at the bottom to go between records and you'll see there's also this map option here as well um, and what that will do is if there's any spatial data it will plot those comments on a map um, with this being YouTube, that's not available, but quite often you'll find this data is available for uh, for tweets and it will show you roughly um, what country the, the tweets came from um, as of you. So this has been a very brief introduction to NCAPTURE and it's just important to remember there's a two-step process. Um, step one is for you to go to the website and for you to bring in, um, you know, to capture the website. 
And step two is for you to go into the Envivo project you want to bring that into, um, right click, import, import from end capture, tick the captures you want to bring in and click OK. And as you can see here, everything's brought into Envivo for you.